What are the different generations called and can you tell them apart? You might be familiar with classic generation names like Boomers, Gen X, Millennials, and then there's Gen Z. First up, Baby Boomers. These are people born after World War II, between 1946 and 64. They built the suburbs and watched the moon landing as kids, and they're much more likely to be richer and more powerful than any other living generational group at the moment. Next up is Gen X. Born between 1965 and 1980, they grew up during the Cold War and watched their once hippie parents start to talk about why they needed to go to college and start making money. People like me are millennials, also known as Gen Y. We were born between 1981 and 1996. We saw the rise of Reaganomics, commercial cell phones, and we started out with the era of AOL internet. And the youngest of us were 11 years old when the first iPhone came out. And lastly, of course, Gen Z. They were born between 1997 and 2012. They grew up on the internet, auto-tune music, memes, and social media platforms. Their world was so different from previous generations that when elders tried to tell them what to do, they dismissed the sermons with a simple, okay, boomer. But what if you land between these generations? Well, for one of them, you might be a Zillennial. And it's giving a name to young adults who don't identify with either generation around them. Zillennials were born between 1993 and 1998. And why are these years so significant? Well, Zillennials were born before smartphones and social media existed, unless you count Palm Pilots, which nobody should. They got to see the world transformed by technology, but they also lived in a time where technology wasn't everywhere. They're closer to Gen Z in age, in interests, as as well, but their early years were more like the childhood of older millennials. Could micro generations become more common as our relationship with technology continues to develop? Only time will tell. Well, that's it for now. If you like this video, follow me, David Grasso, at Bold TV. Until next time.